Buenos dias. As a young musician growing up in Chicago, I was lucky to be exposed to the great classical musicians of past and present. But it was perhaps my discovery of rock music that really fueled my creative fire. And to this end, I count the Beatles as my most indelible source of inspiration. It was not only their illuminating, timeless, and entirely original music that inspired me, but especially their adventurousness, the fact that they took creative risks and that they leapt into the unknown. And this all affected my artistic approach. It's interesting because I've always been incredibly passionate about classical music, but so often I find myself falling asleep at performances. Uh, and I think it's because the performers aren't engaging their audiences. They're not, they're, they're not um, making it relevant and exciting to us. So these combined experiences have caused Liz and me to formulate a mission statement as performers of this great music. And that mission is to make classical music a relevant and powerful force in society. We apply this mission to everything we do and create on stage and off. And today, we will present two works of music, both over 200 years old. And we'll use these as examples of how we put our mission into action, how we make this great music relevant in this day and age. The first piece was composed by Franz Schubert. And it was originally a song for voice and piano about pursuit and death. And it's truly terrifying piece of music. Um, but so often in, in, in recent day performances, the audiences and the performers are all practically bowing their heads in reverential prayer, um, worshiping this piece they deem to be great. But in doing so, they're missing the point and they're forgetting about how exciting it is and they're forgetting to bring the piece alive. To bring the visceral soul of this song to life, we created a music video that we filmed at a legendary piano factory in New York City. In this video, you will see us consumed by the music, by obsession, and by the forces of our imagination. And this video will give you a taste for our combined passion for making music videos that bring musical narratives and concepts to the fore. We hope you enjoy our music video, Der Eilkönig.
piano. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so how many of you recognize this tune? Come on, raise your hands. Oh yeah, that's, that's good to see. This is a, a very famous, famous piano piece composed by Mozart, uh, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, and it's titled Rondo a la Turca. So it's funny that most people think of the Rondo a la Turca as a serious classical work. You'll see pianists playing it for their exams and auditions. But in actuality, Mozart composed this work to celebrate the music of Turkish military bands. And this music was really noisy and rambunctious. And so in original performances of this work, you might have heard um, the additional use of cymbals, tambourines, basically noisy percussion instruments to add to all the chaos. And now you see modern pianists playing it as if it's the most serious thing you've ever heard. Uh, so we've again tried to make this piece uh, relevant and powerful in, in today's world. So we've actually modernized it. We fused it with our own compositional style, uh, as well as added elements of jazz and ragtime. So in a sense, we're being completely sacrilegious to the original because we're playing so many different notes. But in another sense, we're bringing the spirit to life, the, the attitude and the energy of the original, the folksiness and the noise making. So it's almost more true to the original. Ultimately, Greg and I believe that it's not enough to just play the music well. It's essential that the music lives, that it breathes and sings, and that it gives meaning, color, joy, and truth to our collective existence. So, so now we present to you our ragtime a la Turca. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you.